All right, well, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, thank you all for coming this afternoon. I am here with FBI Director Jim Comey to discuss our ongoing work to protect the security of the United States, particularly in light of recent events. Obviously, these are challenging times with the recent attacks in Paris raising the profile of ISIS and also raising anxiety here in the homeland. And as I've said previously, we stand in solidarity with the people of France at this difficult time. We are committed to providing any and all assistance to our allies in Europe and around the world as we all face this global threat. Now, we've made that commitment clear, not just with words, but with our actions. The Department of Justice, the FBI, and other agencies are in close contact with French authorities through our international legal assistance channels to provide support to the French in their ongoing investigation, to coordinate strategies with them, and to advance our shared efforts as we obtain further information that may be relevant to these attacks. Now, we are operating on an expedited basis as well to ensure that the victim assistance professionals at the Department of Justice and the FBI are available to assist the victims and their families. We've also expanded the FBI's legal attache office in Paris to offer assistance on an as-needed basis, and we have personnel working day and night to respond to any additional requests for assistance. Now, earlier today, President Obama spoke by phone with President Hollande to discuss the latest developments in the investigation and to reaffirm our partnership in the fight against terrorism. Now, of course, our highest priority is and will remain the security of our homeland and the safety of all Americans. And at the Department of Justice, we are operating around the clock, as we have since 9-11 and even before, to uncover and disrupt any plot that takes aim at, the, at our people, our infrastructure, and our way of life. We take all threats seriously, we're acting aggressively to defuse threats as they emerge, and we are vigorously investigating and prosecuting those who seek to harm the American people. In fact, since 2013, we have charged more than 70 individuals for conduct related to foreign fighter interests and homegrown violent extremism and we continue to take robust actions to monitor and to thwart potential extremist activity. Now, the Department of Justice and the FBI are working closely with the Department of Homeland Security, with the broader intelligence community, and our partners around the world in all of these efforts, and we're bringing every resource to bear in the service of our mission. Now, it's, I think it's important to note that as we do this work, we are guided, obviously, by our commitment to the protection of the American people but also by our commitment to the protection of our American values, which include the timeless principles of inclusivity and freedom that have always made this country great. We need to say, we will not let our actions be overtaken by fear. We will not allow merchants of violence to rob us of our most precious ideals. Our values are not secondary considerations in the fight against terror. They are central to the work that we do, and they are essential to the nation that we protect. They are also the reason that we are a target, and they are what terrorists want most to seek to have us abandon. They want us to live in fear, and we refuse. They want us to change who we are and what makes us quintessentially American, and that we will never do. And now, I'll turn the microphone over to the director of the FBI, Jim Comey, for a few remarks as well. Thank you, Madam Attorney General. I'd like folks to know three things, uh, how we think about the threat, what we're doing about it, and what you should do as a citizen in this great country of ours. First, the threat. We are not aware of any credible threat here of a Paris-type attack, and we have seen no connection at all between the Paris attackers and the United States. ISIL and its supporters put out all kinds of propaganda, like videos and magazines, but that is not credible intelligence. Of course, we investigate all of those propaganda threats. But instead, the threat here focuses primarily on troubled souls in America who are being inspired or enabled online to do something violent for ISIL. We have stopped a lot of those people this year, especially leading up to July 4th. And there are others we worry about, and we cover all across the country using all of our lawful tools. So that's how we think about the threat. Second, what are we doing about the threat? The taxpayers of this country have invested a lot of their money in building a national counterterrorism capability since 9-11, and that has built something very strong. 
We are not perfect, but we are good. And starting minutes after the Paris attacks on Friday, we did four things. First, we began looking for connections between Paris and here. Second, we made sure that we were tightly connected with our state and local partners, that they knew everything we knew and that they were as energized as we are. Third, we began covering every tip and every lead immediately, and we have continued that to this moment. And last, we have made sure that our over 100 joint terrorism task forces are focused intensely on our investigations, and in fact, that they have taken them up a notch. That is very hard work, but we are very fortunate to have the help of our state and local partners around the country. Together, we are watching people of concern using all of our lawful tools. We will keep watching them, and if we see something, we'll work to disrupt it. That's what we're doing about it. Last, what should you, the people of the United States, do in response to this threat? The most important thing, I think, is do not let fear become disabling. That is what the terrorists want. They want you to imagine them in the shadows. They want you to imagine them as something greater than they are. Instead, we hope that you will turn fear into healthy awareness of what's around you. If you see something that gives you a bad feeling, tell somebody in law enforcement. Since September 11th, we have really worked to get ourselves organized in such a way that if you walk up and tell any police officer in this country or any deputy sheriff in this country that you saw something that didn't seem right, you heard something that didn't seem right, or you read something online that seemed off, that information will get to the right people immediately. You can count on it. And we will check it out. If it's nothing, no harm done. But if it was something, great harm may be avoided. But counterterrorism is what you pay us to do. Tell us what you saw and then go on living your lives, living your life while we do our work. That is channeling fear into something healthy, which is a awareness of your surroundings and not something disabling. That's what we hope you will do. Thank you, Madam Attorney General. Thank you, Mr. Director. Thank you all.